<laughs> oh, we're on beat together. Yeah, look at that. We can talk about Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> Wonka and the Chocolate Factory came out 51 years ago. It was directed by Mel Stewart. Faith, I know you love this movie. So what do you think of Mel Stewart's Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? This is one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, the reason why I love this movie so much is because it's, it gives you a reason to like have faith in something. And, and, and hope. Hope. And just because you, like, like, given in the movie, just because you do something wrong doesn't make you a bad person. You know, and it's just, you know, it gives me that nice logic, and I love it. I don't know, I love the characters, I love the Oompa Loompas, I love just everything. Yeah, this story is based on a Roald Dahl story, so it's got that childhood feel to it, which I really love. You know, because some of the stuff you have to be a child to just buy into, because the fact that Grandpa Joe, Grandma Josephine, <laughs> Grandpa George, and Grandpa Georgina are just laying in bed for the last 20 years and nobody seems to yeah, think that's this okay. Is, this is um, like a different universe. So that's why logic in this movie does not have... It's, there's no logic in this movie. At all. At all. No. You know, Some it's of like, stuff is ridiculous. Like, like uh, what's his name? The, the Slugworth? Slugworth. When he just pops out of nowhere. It's just like, how do you know that I'm going to win this ticket right now? Yeah. How do you know? And then... He's pushing people out of the way <laughs> to get to the kid right after he won, like on camera. And he's like, I got to go whisper in that kid's ear, get out of my way. Get like, out of my right way. In random factories. Yeah. Just hanging around random factories. Like, it makes no sense. But logic in this movie is all tossed out the window, and they created a masterpiece. They did. They really did. But I just want to start with Grandpa Joe and what a piece of shit Grandpa Joe is. Because Grandpa Joe can clearly walk around and he's obviously going out at night and doing stuff because I don't understand how he can sit there and just let this poor woman and poor Charlie just take <laughs> care of him and all the other grandparents. They're bedridden for 20 years. But, but <laughs> even the, the, his boss, tell Grandpa Joe, tell him I said hi. Tell Grandpa it's Joe. It's like, <laughs> what? Have, you haven't seen Grandpa Joe no. in 20 years. No, whenever Everyone else goes to sleep. Grandpa Joe gets out of bed because when fucking Charlie wins that golden ticket, he's able to jump out yeah. of bed like he hasn't been in there. Yeah, he's like, wait, hold up. I yeah. think I could do it. Yeah, that greedy ass. He wants to get his hands on that free chocolate in the chocolate factory. Yeah. He goes, goddamn well, what he wants to. Do. When this poor mother who looks like she just went twelve <laughs> rounds with Apollo Creed has to stay home and take care of the other three. And the famous line. If a loaf of bread is a banquet, I don't deserve to have My tobacco. tobacco. It's like, you've been doing it for 20 years, dude. Yeah, now you're starting to get now a conscious. Now you're upset. Yeah, you know? they're still running out and putting money together so Grandpa Joe can have his tobacco so he doesn't <laughs> move his ass out of bed all day. But enough about Grandpa Joe. Let's talk about Gene Wilder. Because Gene Amazing. Wilder plays Willy Wonka perfectly. Amazing. We love the sarcasm. What's that for? Gives it a little kick. Oh, the sarcasm is so that I good. think is his best thing. <laughs> Everything's like, no, stop, yeah. don't do that. <laughs> Clearly sarcastic. He doesn't give a shit. He knows these kids are pieces of shit. Yeah. <laughs> and not gonna win. Only Charlie has the good heart, and that's why he ends up winning. But he made a mistake. He and, did make a mistake. And I, I love that. That even though he made a mistake, the true character did come out. Yeah. You know? Because he does care. He cares more about everybody over himself. And honestly, he wouldn't have even drank that if it wasn't for Grandpa Joe saying what exactly. he was so, Exactly. Grandpa, Again, jo Grandpa Joe being a piece of shit. Yeah. If ruining. he didn't go along, he wouldn't have even tried that because Charlie is pure at heart. I yeah. mean, the rest of these kids are not. Ruining his chance. The one girl I want to point out is phenomenal with her one, so with her one song where she ends up being a bad egg, where she's dancing. Her. That girl. I is want a, a feast. Yeah. I want a whole <laughs> feast. <laughs> I love all the character tropes of all these characters and everything. Like, you got the kid who, like, you know, they're trying to say that the parents pop their kids in front of TV and he's being raised on television. What's his name? Mikey Television? Well, yeah, that's what my. <laughs> she probably. But you know what? You wouldn't get great content if, I, if she wasn't doing that. Yeah, so this is him. all his mom. Yeah, you can thank her for this. You're welcome. <laughs> but it really is just so much fun watching this. And, like, the movie moves along quick. This is a movie that's about 
a hundred minutes, and this movie moves along so fast. You go character to character. Nothing gets boring. All no, the, all it's it's fun. Even when they're singing, I, I'm into it. You, yeah. Every aspect, of the, every room is, is different. It feels special. It's every room's like a different part of the movie. It feels like. Yeah, and you know you start. You know it's still a story. You know you start dropping characters in each room every time they want to screw up and be selfish. Now, know. John, would you have taken the everlasting Gobstopper and gave it to Slugworth? Yeah. Probably not, only because I, if I didn't have knowledge of this movie, I don't know. I mean, I'm always looking for a good deal. I say it all the time. <laughs> I don't understand why this movie stuff never happens to me. Like, I, I, I would be freaking, like, ratting people out all the time. Like, God, <laughs> how much money do you want to give me to do something? Exactly. And they just won't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if I would have. I yeah. probably would have. Well, you're a better person than me. I'm no, a good I person, but yeah, you're better. <laughs> because if... Because he was kind of, Willie Wong was kind of a piece of shit. Too. He was a little bit of a dick, and especially the way he treats the Opa Lupas, let's be honest. Yeah, they're slaves. They're slaves. Yeah. He brought them from another country to <laughs> work in his factory, and he gives them shelter. Like, and that's it. Otherwise, you know, they're just a bunch of singing small people with orange faces, and he doesn't care about yeah. them. Yeah. At least I don't feel like he cares about them. They, yeah. You know, if, if they wanted their freedom, but then again, they're going to have a pretty hard life out in that world. Looking, looking like that. Yeah, so... <laughs> Maybe he is protecting him. I don't know. But this is just a 1970s classic, and I just love it. I know you love it. It's one of your top five movies of all time, probably. Yep. And unfortunately, we got a terrible remake in 2005 starring Johnny Depp. We love you, Johnny Depp, but this is not you, because you're great. No, that movie <laughs> is not great, and that's unfortunate, because that's also Tim Burton, and... You know, leave you the classes alone. You can't remake everything, <laughs> Although, unfortunately. they are doing a prequel to this starring Timothy Chalamet as Willy Wonka. Do you think he'll be able to nail that Gene Wilder sarcasm? I don't know. It's, it's right, remakes are... Uh... Well, it's a prequel, well, so we'll, well see. I, I guess, I you guess. You know, but you gotta get that sarcasm, because with Gene Wilder, that's what he's perfect at. That, that Between yeah. this and Young Frankenstein, or the movies he did with Richard Pryor, See No Evil, Hear No Evil, Gene Wilder was one of our gems, and, you know, he's sadly missed. We'll always have this, we'll always have Willy Wonka. I just want to real quick, though, talk about the 4K of this. So even though fate doesn't give a crap <laughs> if you talk about Willy Wonka's 4K, that. I do, because I really think for a movie that's 51 years old, this 4K that came out last year for its 50th anniversary was great. Stop what you're doing. And <laughs> I want to just point out how much I loved it because this is a huge upgrade for any physical media release we had before this. It was this. beautiful. It did, right? The purple really popped. This movie made the colors because this is a very colorful movie, actually. And it really pops. You wouldn't think that this is a movie that was Must filmed in the nice 70s. Must be nice to see it. Yeah. I mean, the first time I saw this was on cable with commercials, so believe me, I'm, this is the best version I have ever seen and, and that anyone will ever see. It's usually running pretty cheap, Faith. You actually bought this for me, so keep making fun of it all you want, because <laughs> you spent your own money on it. Oh! But this is a movie, actually this movie's rated G, it's pretty dark for a G movie, but we're talking the 70s. And for a movie that was a bomb, this cost $3 million to make and only made $4 million, the fact we get a beautiful 4K copy of this that's still getting taken care of, that is still dragging children into this day, we should be thankful, and you should be thankful. Just like you should be thankful for your king. Anyway, uh... <laughs> <laughs> but anyway guys, thanks for joining me and Faith here on Let's Talk. She is lovely. She is beautiful. She is lucky to have me. Isn't she mm. lovely? Yeah. Isn't she wonderful? <laughs> <laughs> so guys, if you enjoy these little reviews where we review some 4K copies and talk about some of Faith's favorite movies, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and tell all your friends.